हाई प्रेशर एंड लो प्रेशर हीटर्स इन थर्मल पावर प्लांट्स हाई प्रेशर हीटर्स आर यूज फॉर रीजेनरेटिव हीटिंग ऑफ फीड वाटर एंड लो प्रेशर हीटर्स आर यूज फॉर रीजेनरेटिव हीटिंग ऑफ कंडेंसेट वाटर This diagram shows simplest steam cycle. The steam is getting generated in the steam generator. It's going to the steam turbine. The energy in the steam is getting converted into mechanical energy here in the steam turbine. Then exhaust steam is coming out from the turbine. to complete the cycle it is necessary that the exhaust steam is converted into water so in the condenser the exhaust steam is being converted into water with the help of circulating water so the remaining heat energy in the steam is going to the atmosphere in the form of circulating water that means the steam energy in the form of heat is going waste to the atmosphere then the condensate water is being pumped into the boiler this water is at ambient temperature so that means part of the heat here is getting spent to convert cold water into hot water if somehow this waste energy can be converted into heating this water going to the this feed water going to the generator steam generator then efficiency would increase so in this lecture we shall see how the wastage of heat to the atmosphere can be reduced and the same heat can be used regeneratively to heat the water feed water going to the steam generator simplest steam cycle simplest steam cycle using dry saturated steam as the working fluid has the following basic components steam generator oblique boiler steam turbine condenser and boiler feed pump The Rankine cycle is an ideal thermodynamic cycle involving the following processes: steam generation in boiler at constant pressure, isentropic expansion in steam turbine. Isentropic means having the same entropy. There is no change in entropy. That means no heat is being added. or extracted condensation in condenser at constant pressure pressurizing condensate to boiler pressure by isentropic compression request it is hope that this session is going to be useful to you please press like please subscribe yah lecture hindi mein bhi uplabdh hai typical steam water flow diagram in a thermal power plant super heat reheat regenerative cycle figure shows 
a typical steam water flow diagram of a superheat reheat regenerative cycle regarding the reheat we have talked in the talked about in the previous lecture in this lecture we are going to talk about the regenerative cycle abbreviations hpt stands for high pressure turbine ipt stands for intermediate pressure turbine lpt stands for low pressure turbine gen stands for generator cond stands for condenser cep stands for condensate extraction pump gsc stands for gland steam cooler lph stands for low pressure heater da stands for deaerator bfp stands for boiler feed pump hph stands for high pressure heater here in this diagram we can see that from con condenser the condensed water is being pumped with the help of condensate extraction pump it is being heated in the gland steam cooler then it is being heated in the low pressure heaters then it is going to the deaerator and from deaerator with the help of feed pump feed water is passing through the high pressure heaters and then it is going to the boiler so here we can see that feed water is now not at ambient temperature it has been already preheated with the help of lp heaters and hp heaters so that means there will be fuel saving in the boiler the fuel which would have been used to heat the feed water that fuel has been saved because of these lp heaters and hp heaters now let us see how these heaters are working these heaters are working with the help of extraction steam here extraction steam is coming out of the high pressure turbine some of it is going to the reheater in the boiler and some of it is coming to this high pressure heater for heating the feed water then this extracted steam is getting condensed here and this condensate is again going to another high pressure heater this high pressure heater is getting exhaust from intermediate pressure turbine and the combination of this extracted steam and this condensate from earlier hp heater heats the feed water here then condensate from this hp heater is going to the deaerator and it is helping in the deaeration of the feed water similarly these lp heaters are getting exhaust steam or bleeded steam from various stages of intermediate pressure turbine and low pressure turbine and they are being used for heating condensate from the condenser so before going to the deaerator the condensate is being 
heated with the help of these LP heaters. And here we can see that from this LP heater, the condensate is going to this LP heater, and from here it is going to this LP heater. No pumping is required here because this pressure is higher than this. This pressure is higher than this. This pressure is higher than this. So due to the pressure difference, the condensate is traveling from one heater to another heater. And ultimately, the condensate is going to the condenser from where it is being extracted with the help of condensate extraction pump. So in the previous slide, we have described the multi-stage feed heating system. The same is being shown in this diagram on the TS plane. In the TS plane, we are again explaining the same multi-stage feed heating system. So here we are not explaining this diagram. Maybe we shall discuss this diagram in a subsequent lecture. But this diagram is representing the idea explained in the previous slide and what we have told in the previous slide is being shown in the TS plane here. Regenerative Rankin Cycle The efficiency of cycle is less than the efficiency of the Carnot cycle because a certain portion of the heat supplied to the boiler is transferred to raise the feed water temperature. If this additional heat to the feed water could be transferred reversibly from the steam part of the cycle, then the efficiency would increase. This cycle where efficiency is raised as explained is known as the regenerative cycle. In this cycle, a specified quantity of energy remains circulating within the cycle and as a result irreversibility in the process of mixing relatively cold water with hot steam gets reduced. The purpose of regeneration or stage bleeding is to improve cycle efficiency, which in turn minimizes steam consumption and results in plant efficiency. This is realized by adding regenerative feed heating to the superheat reheat cycle. Feed heating involves extracting a fraction of the steam flowing through the turbine from one or more positions along the turbine expansion and using heat in the steam to preheat the water in feed water heaters prior to entering the boiler. Each unit of extracted steam does a certain amount of work in the turbine from throttle conditions to point of extraction and transfers the remainder of its heat to the feed water, thus conserving the total heat instead of losing part of the heat to the 
circulating water passing through the main condenser request it is hope that this session was useful to you please press like please subscribe यह लेक्चर हिंदी में भी उपलब्ध है